It's another Tuesday night, and that must mean it's time for the newest edition of the Coach Harry Show. This time we're back here at Dave & Buster's for the first time in the better part of two months. But now 56 games are in the books, and now the Thunderbirds turn their attention to the Commissioner's Cup playoffs and a first-round matchup once again with the Port Huron Prowlers. Welcome into the Coach Harry Show here live on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. Brendan Riley with you, being joined as always by the head coach Steve Harrison and back for his second time here this season, it's defenseman Joe Kennedy. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank um, you. It should be, uh, it's, uh, it's that time of year, uh, you know, winter go home and now it's time to go here for this squad. Yeah, it's exciting. First of all, being back at Dave & Buster's, they've done a lot of renovations. It looks great here, so uh, uh, people should come out. It's a, it's a great place, but as I said, they've done some great job, the great renovations. It looks great here. But, uh, yeah, it's a great time of year. Uh, uh, if you, uh, I, I told the boys this morning, if, if you can't get excited about this time of year, uh, something's wrong, I think, you know, and, and I know they're excited about it. And uh, we've been waiting probably two or three weeks to get oh, yeah. to this point, and uh, now we're here. And uh, I, I, we're on pins and needles until Friday. And so that's what we're waiting for, and uh, it should be a fun weekend. Joe, second regular season for you here in the books. Now you get to uh, go out there and play some playoff hockey again. It should be uh, should be pretty fun. Oh yeah, it's the best part of the year. Best part of the year indeed. And uh, now for your squad, you get another matchup here, or Joe, at least for you, another matchup in the first round against a Port Huron team that uh, that the Thunderbirds organization knows pretty well when it comes to uh, the first round of the playoffs. But another matchup with Port, familiar foe that should uh, just add to it a little bit. Oh, absolutely. You know, uh, we've uh, had their number recently, so you know they're going to be coming out flying, and uh, we're going to be matching that and hopefully adding on to it. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a great matchup. They're, they're, as we just said, the, white, the, the, the slate's wiped clean. doesn't matter where your points are, and uh, we'll talk about this more and more with the team as we go along, but uh, in, a, in a league, in the SP this year, the, uh, the number one seed uh, got knocked off by the number eight seed. So you, you've got to be prepared because, as I said, it's all brand new hockey, and, and uh, uh, we know that, and so we're, we're, going, to be, uh, we're going to be ready on Friday. Well, Friday it will be 7.05 at Port Huron and McMoran Arena. It will be on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. Then 7.35 back at the Fairgrounds Arena for Game 2. And then Sunday at Game 3 if necessary coming up at 6 p.m. Hopefully it doesn't have to get to that Sunday. But uh, you never know when it comes to playoff hockey. But uh, 56 games in the book, a whole regular season. As you just said, it wiped the slate clean. But for you, Coach, first year here in Carolina, first regular season done with. What do you think of your first year here? Well, you know, we, we, we talked about it, I think, the very first day about uh, building a house, and I, I think we put the roof on. Uh, you know, when you look at our record uh, and the way they do it here, it's a little different, but basically we're, uh, you know, 40 wins and 12 losses and four ties, and uh, when you look at it th from that standpoint, uh, uh, it's pretty good, and, and, and all the credit goes to these guys over here, and uh, and he's one of the big cogs in the wheel here. So, but it, it, those are the guys that um, that were in the trenches, and 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 we had a, a great uh, up to Christmas. Had a lot of adversity, but they hung in. And as I said, so when it's all said and done, when when you look at our record, it's. Uh, uh, I talked to a coach yesterday, and he said, "Well, what's your record?" Because I told him what happened on the weekend, and we were just kind of chuckling about it. Uh, we will we'll chuckle about it now, right, yeah, Joe? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but. Um, and he said, well, what, what, what's your record? And, and, and I told him, and he goes, and you're, you're a little upset. And I go, well, no, I'm not upset. It's just, you know, you, you want to get better, and you want to be better. But as he said, he said, that's a heck of a record. He said, not many coaches uh, in, in any league wouldn't, wouldn't take that. If I told you at the start of the year, that's what your record's going to be. It, it, it's a pretty good, you know, especially in, in this league here where uh, road trips, you have a lot of, uh, I, I think the top six teams in this league can beat anybody any time. And uh, even the bottom teams, as I said, uh, uh, unfortunately, once in a while, they'll, they'll come up to get you. So I, I'm really proud of the guys and the, the way they've done it from start to finish. Joe, your second regular season in the books. How did last year compare to this year? Um, well, last year was more of a, I'd say, like a scoring team like all of our scores were extremely high this year we focused a lot on defense and I mean it shows I think we were first in uh, goals against and everything mm -hmm. like that and that was a big priority and um, we took a lot of pride in that as defense as well as forwards and I think everybody just really came together and uh, kept that puck out of our net well that's next on my checklist before Friday I'm seeing if that's the uh, first time in 
franchise history that that's happened. But uh, now you get the uh, matchup coming up here with uh, the Port here on this weekend game, or a best two of three. It should be a lot of fun there. Coming up on Friday in Port here on Saturday, back at home, and then the Sunday if necessary. But we're just getting underway here on the Coach Harry Show here live from Dave and Buster's. A lot to get to on the program this evening. A 3-3 three and three to finish off the regular season with Columbus. Preview Port here on also. Get your questions from the crowd as well. We're just getting underway here on the Coach Harry Show here live from Dave and Buster's. We're back with more on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. Garage app helps you keep up with your vehicles from anywhere. Flow customers can request service appointments, receive text and video updates, view sales and service history, receive recall notifications, and even get purchase offers via Flow Offer to Purchase. Download the app today. Get ready, Winston Sale. Jennifer Sapp, your trusted realtor and broker since 1997, puts the real in realtor, and she's proud to be a sponsor of your Carolina Thunderbirds. As a top producer and your go-to realtor for all your real estate needs, Jennifer Sapp is ready to help you score your dream home goal. Call Jennifer at 336-782-3148 or visit her at jennifersapp.allenton.com. For over 85 years, Mustin and Crutchfield has been more than just a local market. We've been a proud part of North Carolina's heritage. When our founders started in 1938, they sourced meats from local farmers and groceries from small companies. Finding a way to stay competitive in this market has been a challenge through the years. Luckily, there are a lot of entrepreneurs, and now we have close to 50 local vendors that we feature. We're proud to partner with the Carolina Thunderbirds as a local sponsor, celebrating community values both on and off the ice. Mustin and Crutchfield, your hometown local grocer. Once upon a time, not so far away, two heroes found the secret to a perfect game day. They had heard of a baker, one with big heart. They were thrilled he had the answer. Ava's Cupcakes is where he's set to start. From cakes to cookies, cupcakes, and more, we've got flavors that'll score and score. So the Thunderbirds cheered, ready to tell all. Ava's Cupcakes is the sweetest. Bakery to call. Riddle Tractor has been selling and servicing tractors, mowers, and more for over 43 years. We stock over 50,000 parts and we service what we sell. Visit us at RiddleTractor.com. That's RiddleTractor.com. Equipping those who get the job done. We're back here live at Dave & Buster's over at the Haynes Mall. It's the newest edition of the Coach Harry Show here ahead of the Thunderbirds. First round Commissioner's Cup playoff matchup against the Port here on Prowlers this weekend. Brendan Riley, the head coach, Steve Harrison, and Joe Kennedy here on your Tuesday evening. And uh, before we get into the playoffs coming up uh, this weekend, uh, it was three games this past weekend. And, uh, a couple of tightly contested matchups starting uh, back on Thursday night. Uh, a lot was made out uh, of this series uh, when you look around the FPHL and you got the top two teams in the Continental Division battling each other to finish off the regular season. A, a preview maybe going into the playoffs, but um, for you guys, it, it was it was just one of those situations you had to get right, get ready for uh, for this week. Well, I, I thought the first two games were, and, and every time we play them, that, that, that's how the first two games were, and uh, they were about and uh, uh, I, I thought it was great hockey. Uh, you know, anytime you go into a, a you, you shoot out and then and the next night it goes into overtime, uh, th th that's good hockey. And, and uh, as I said, it was uh, a little bit of everything. There was some physicality. There was, uh, as I said, some good goals, uh, great goaltending on both sides. Uh, as I said, it, I, if you're just, uh, in my mind, I'm sitting behind the bench and sometimes you get you become a fan too and if you're watching it, and I, I just thought it was a great hockey game and uh, uh, unfortunately, the, you know, in the, in the shootout, we didn't uh, we didn't get the point there, but the next night in overtime, which I, I like the overtime, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Keeley there uh, scored the winner for us. So uh, those two games were indicative of how uh, uh, hopefully in two weeks uh, that's how it's going to be. It's going to be tightly contested and uh, 
uh, as I said, just great hockey. Well, you go into that series and no Gus uh, for the weekend, no Justin McDonald for them. So the two leading point scorers in the FBHL, both not playing uh, there on Thursday and Friday. Uh, you go into game one and they, they come with that same approach that they've always had throughout the season. They, they press you there early on. And then uh, it's at that point you have to try to weather the storm. Well, that, that's probably the one thing in a couple of weeks we're going to have yeah. to address a little bit. Uh, we, we know they're going to come out, and that's, it, that's their tendency, and we, we seem to be on our heels a little bit, and for the most part all year, we, we weathered that storm and, 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 and just kind of got into our rhythm and, uh, uh, and played really well, so uh, it, as I said, it was, just, it was just one of those things that you know, as I said, in a couple of weeks we're, we're, we're not going to be able to start off that way. We're going to have to be a little more aggressive. We're going to have to be on our toes a little bit more than in the first couple of minutes, and uh, uh, as I said, every team kind of has an identity, and unfortunately for us, sometimes it uh, uh, we have to kind of get uh, uh, maybe a little punch in the head, I think. I'm yeah. not sure if that's the best way to do it uh, before we kind of get going. And uh, as I said, we've tried to address that all year, and, but definitely uh, uh, even Friday night, I, I know Port Huron are going to come out. They're, they're going to come out storming, and uh, uh, they want that game at home, and so we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to be really ready. Joe, uh, when you look at a team like Columbus and you go into a matchup with them, um, what are you expecting there on the ice? What, what, what can you expect from uh, that River Dragons team? Well, I'm just always expecting a battle. Like, it's, you know, they want it just as bad as we do. And, you know, like, we just need to be focused and, I, and prepared for the game. Uh, obviously, starting out slow is never a good thing for us. <laughs> so, um, you know, and sometimes, it, it, you know, we are able to weather that storm and get back in the game. But uh, obviously on that Saturday matchup, it wasn't the case. So uh, we, we learned something that day. We'll, 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 get, we'll get to Saturday here in a little bit. We'll, uh, we'll get through the first two games before we get there. But uh, that game one. My heart, my heart can't handle another Saturday. <laughs> so just we're going to let's just we'll ease into Saturday. Yeah. OK, let's not jump at it right away. But, uh, but that, that, that game one there on Thursday, Boos makes it one to nothing on a, uh, another beautiful move. And that's another $10 to my, to my wallet for him telling me to say that. So, okay. uh, uh, no, but you, you survived the early flurry from them. Uh, you go into the second period. You got a one nothing lead. Uh, that, then the game starts to get out of hand, and it was something that uh, I guess in years past that's how Thunderbirds River Dragons games have kind of gone. But hadn't seen that across the first eight matchups of the season. Most games have been pretty pretty skilled. Both seat, both sides were really out there. They were trying to win, not as much as the events that took yeah. place there on that night. Well, I, I think sometimes you know when, when you play teams so many times over the course of the year and highly competitive highly intense there's going to be nights like that and and some uh, I, I played again in series where you know it's like that a lot and then other series like it, it doesn't happen but the, to see that happen once in a while is uh, uh, is understandable and, and as I said I just think the, the the intensity from both teams and sometimes it's only that little spark it might be something crazy and you think well how why did it get going there but it does and uh, someone uh, takes offense to something and, and next thing you know the the the, the, the game I, I don't want to say get out gets out of hand but it the physicality raises up pretty high and uh, uh, as I said when you've got highly competitive people and highly competitive players like like both teams that we have uh, some nights those things can happen Joe what do you like more do you like the games that are clean and you know both sides are out there making plays or do you like the games that kind of turn into skirmishes and and, and kind of do have that edge to them I honestly like a little bit of both. Like, don't get me wrong, um, you know, it's nice when it's just good hockey, but at the same time, like, I feel like there's a need for that physicality. Like, the physicality, like, adds to the game. It's more emotional. It's more fun to play in. And that's honestly playoff hockey. Like, it's going to be physical. It's going to be, you know, not everything needs to be just clean and just nice passes, you know, like a usual Gus Ford goal or whatever. Like, you know, sometimes you, sometimes you like the, the dirty rebound goal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think I think that's what the, the, the people enjoy the physicality of it. And, and, and as I said, the problem with the physicality sometimes there's a fine line, and 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 sometimes it goes over, and then it starts to be, uh, you know, we played a couple games this year where it was just like every time you, you turn around, someone's 
punching someone or, or doing that. And that, that, to me, that takes away from the game. Uh, uh, the most of the time, as Joe said, like, you know, when, you know, some good hits and, 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 and if there is a fight, it happens. Uh, uh, you know, I think the big guy over here turned the game around there when we played Binghamton, uh, you know, he stepped in. So that, that physicality of, of the game, in my mind, I hope we never lose it. And, and uh, it should be, should be left in the game. But uh, you just don't want it to cross over when it becomes uh, uh, a sideshow. Oh, and when it turned, when it started to go that way, they're in the second period. They ended up tying the game up at one. There was six seconds left. It was an extended five-minute power play after a major a game misconduct, and uh, it, it just an unlucky bounce that uh, saw a puck go off of Bakes and uh, ended up in the back of the net. Then they end up taking a two-one lead there late in the late in the third period there on Thursday. Um, but you guys get the opportunity late, and, and it just goes to show that you know. They, they, this team just never quits. Well, they're, they're, it's shown all year. Uh, we, we we know we can score, and and uh, uh, the, the the word patience has has been brought up quite a bit this year. Of, of if we play our game and, and be patient enough, uh, we'll get our opportunity. And, and as I said, for the most part, uh, uh, even with a guy like Gus out or or things like that, we we, we still have enough scoring power that. Uh, that, that can put the puck in the net, and uh, we tied the game up. Tied the game with 50 seconds remaining. It was Copes on a one-timer, and then uh, you go to overtime again in a, a play uh, situation that your team's been very good in this year. Um, neither side scores, and you end up going to the shootout, uh, and, and you end up going five rounds. Um, but just kind of a, a unlucky hop there for Mario, unlucky bounce there in the fifth round. I mean, he made the save, yeah. but it ended, ended up just trickling in. Well, after five shots, you know, the, the, those are the, 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 the – you, whenever you get into those situations, it, it's, a, it's a lady luck's on your side. And, uh, you know, you might take a shot and the goalie might go off his glove or something like that. But uh, the, the shootout is more of a skill thing. And, and, and when you lose those, you don't like to lose those. But, uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, I, that's why – I. I look at more of the overtime, like you know, the one the the, the next night. You know, we're we're playing three on three, and and uh, that's more of the game for me. But I still like the shootout. It's fun for the fans. It's it, it's exciting. Game gets uh, uh, they finish the game a little earlier than if you're still going to overtime. But uh, uh, th th that's the part of the game when you get into playoffs starting this week. There won't be any shootout. So uh, I like the idea that we like to uh, we don't mind going into overtime. So uh, the, as I said, unfortunately on. Uh, uh, on Thursday, we didn't uh, get the point that we wanted. Joe, in an overtime, do you feel, is there anything that you feel a little extra pressure, or is it you're still just trying to play your game? I'm honestly very confident in our team in overtime. Um, I feel like we usually, in every single one we've been in, we usually almost always hold possession for the longest. Um, there's not really much of an added pressure. It's just more of a, like, you have a mindset of, like, hey, you know, there's three. There's only three guys on the ice. You know, and there's a lot of ice. You know, more focus on puck possession. Um, obviously, that's going to change going into playoffs and everything. But um, I, I don't really feel too much pressure during those moments. It's more you're just you want to score. <laughs> Actually, we had a couple good chances. Sally had the breakaway, and and, and you know, and, and you know those situations, and, and you hope to put them away, but they didn't go in, and uh, so we had to go to a shootout. And now you get to go to five on five here for the for the rest of the way. Yeah. And, um, uh, sudden death. I, I mean, it really is the best part of any sport wherever is playoff overtime hockey. Yeah, I, I, you know, uh, Charles Barkley said it, about, I think, a couple years ago or a year ago then. You know, it, he's sitting on TV analyzing the, the, the NBA, and, and uh, he said, geez, I want to get to – I hope this game ends quickly because I want to get to watch the NHL for playoffs so they're in <laughs> overtime. And, uh, you know, when someone from another sport says that, that it, it is exciting. There's nothing, no, the, the, the overtime, the intensity, the, the, the drama, everything like that. As I said, uh, and I agree with you, I, I don't know if there's another sport that, 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 that something can go wrong. It goes off somebody's skate or, or anything like that. So, so every time you're on the ice, it's meaningful. And as I said, I, I, I agree. I don't, I don't think there's anything more exciting. Well, it should be very exciting coming up this weekend. 7.05 in Port Huron on Friday, 7.35 back at home on Saturday for Game 2. Still plenty of tickets still available. If you haven't gotten them yet, make sure to go to Ticketmaster.com or the Fairgrounds Arena box office. Still plenty, though, with uh, Bowman Gray opening up back, uh, back, 
opening up back this weekend, first race this weekend. Still plenty of tickets. Make sure to get yours now by heading to the arena box office or Ticketmaster.com. we got more to get to here on the Coach Harry Show here live from Dave & Buster's. Then we're back with more after this here on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. <laughs> Hey there, Triad Thunderbirds fans. Introducing Tee It Up Indoors, your ultimate golfing destination in Greensboro. With our cutting edge golf simulators, you can tee off on world-class courses, no matter the weather. We're not just a golf facility. We're your partner in having a fantastic time. From golf lessons to corporate events, we've got it all covered. Plus, we even host birthday parties. Tee It Up Indoors, where golf meets excitement. Contact us today and swing into action. When it comes to performance, speed matters, just like on the ice. Introducing Same Day Dental Crowns, right here at Twin Oaks Dentistry. With cutting edge technology, we craft crowns on site, eliminating the need for temporary. As proud sponsors of the Carolina Thunderbirds, we understand the need for top-notch performance. We're more than just dental care. We're your partners in achieving your best smile. Twin Oaks Dentistry, we're taking Finish strong. Start here. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist. Here at Comtech, we think it shouldn't cost a fortune to have peace of mind. That's why we bring you the latest in smart home protection and home monitoring at prices you can afford. Already paying for home monitoring? We can beat it. Give us a call today or visit us at ctpower.com. That's ctpower.com. Comtech, your one stop for security, fire, cameras, and more. Back here live at Dave and Buster's, it's the newest edition of the Coach Harry Show. We're live on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. Brandon Meyer, the head coach, Steve Harrison, and Joe Kennedy with you here on your Tuesday evening. Uh, we just got into Thursday against Columbus, and now we can get into the uh, final two games of, uh, of the series. And we'll start with uh, game two on Friday, coming off of the uh, shootout loss, uh, notably without Gus, Roman, uh, Dawson, still Peter as well. Um, so I had to make a couple quick signings there to bring a few guys in. And uh, early on, though, they, they jump out. It was that early flurry once again, and uh, they ended up taking a lead there just quickly like that. Well, I, I think I scared the guys because I, I think I told a couple that uh, uh, we're a little short and that I might have had to dress. And, and so I, I think they were a little nervous about that. I'm not sure if they thought I was kidding or not. But, uh, uh, yeah, we're, we're down some players. And uh, we're, we're actually, we, we, we signed a couple guys uh, off the couch. And uh, I thought both guys did a great yeah, job, great. Uh, you know, for guys just coming off the couch. And, and uh, uh, they, they brought, uh, I'll be honest with you, the, the enthusiasm that these two guys came in the dressing room <laughs> with, uh, you, you, can't, you can't ask for that. Like, you know, they, they, they were so excited about being there and pumped. And after we won on Friday, uh, uh, old Fish there, I think yeah. we thought we'd won the Stanley Cup. And, 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 and he couldn't believe it. So uh, just, just to, when you, you walk in the dressing room and you see that excitement off of somebody, it, 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 uh, it warms your heart. And, and uh, uh, as I said, it was just a, it was a great feeling. I think they pumped the other guys up and uh, even being short. And uh, it, it was a good game. Uh, he knew coming in, I believe, that Boots and uh, – Copes had played with uh, played with them before, yep. played against them, so you ca you kind of knew what you were getting there a little bit. Yeah, well, they were friends, I guess, uh, yeah. uh, with Copelinger, and uh, we didn't hold that against them, so that's <laughs> what we told the boys. So, uh, but no, it was, they they, uh, they they knew who they were, and uh, uh, as I said, unfortunately, you know, they haven't played a whole lot lately. So, uh, but 
both smart hockey players uh, played well, I thought, and, and uh, as I said, just uh, maybe a little slower than they, they would like to be, but uh, uh, smart guys, and as I said, I thought they did a great job. Well, then it ended up working out pretty well. I mean, you guys go down one nothing early, Boots ties it up again uh, on the one-timer from Copes, and uh, but then they take a 2-1 lead, and they hold that lead kind of throughout the middle, throughout the end of the yep. first, into the better part of the third period. Um, their, their netminder was playing well in La Valliere, um, and it just kind of took one of those, just one quick shot to change the whole complexion of the game. Yeah, well, you know, we're, we're down to like eight forwards, and so I... I, I, I I like to say we, we switched things up a little bit and we rotated quite a bit and uh, you know even on the defense uh, we, we, we had to switch around a little bit and, and uh, uh, the guys responded very well and uh, you know I switched the lineup the one time there and we put uh, Koplinger with the two checks and uh, we ended up scoring. Ended up scoring a tie up there at uh, two. You go to overtime again for the second nine in a row. You get the second nine in a row. You also get a five on three to end regulation. Um, and, and this time, uh, like you did the night before, you end up capitalizing there in the OT. Well, I, I, I think the guys would like to have that power play back. Uh, I, I don't know if we executed it as well as we would like to have had it when you got a five on three, but uh, those things are going to happen. And uh, uh, we didn't get dejected by not scoring. And a lot of times, when you get a five on three in those situations, uh, you're hoping to probably generate a little more than we did. Um, and, and, and sometimes that's a, that deflates you a little bit. But uh, we hung on, and uh, as I said, I, I, I thought we actually played better after that. You know, once we, when we went to just three on three, I, I, I thought we actually played better. So uh, it was unfortunate we didn't score with the five on three, but uh, as I said, uh, we did eventually. We did eventually when it came to overtime, and uh, it really all started with, uh, with Carps there. I, I, it started with him all the way down at yeah. his uh, goal line. Uh, you see, you see him making that pass. Joe, we'll go to you. you. See him making that pass. What's going through your mind? Oh, well, I'm just hoping that there's, uh, you know, one of our guys waiting at the other end of that pass. That's all <laughs> I'm <laughs> hoping for. <laughs> it's happened before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so, go ahead. Oh, that's really hard. Yeah, so, <laughs> but no, that's like, like when when the goalies make that long pass. And, and he can he can shoot the puck, or I shouldn't say shoot the puck. He can make the pass. Uh, it, it's a great advantage for you. Um, I, I've seen it over the years where the, that, that's if they and that that's being heady and that's being into the game and, and, and seeing something in front of you and, and taking advantage of it. And uh, he did. And it ended up resulting in Nate getting uh, getting the overtime winner. Uh, Coach, we talked about it the past few weeks, especially since uh, Mississippi when he shoots. There, there's a good chance that they're, they're, it's going to find the back of the net. Well, he was flying. Eh? When he when, when he got the puck, like, he came out. I think he came out the bench, and uh, you know, Boots made the pass to him. But he, but he was in motion, and uh, he, he's a fast skater. And and every time you take a step, it, it, it changes the direction on the goalie. And then uh, he used the player as a screen, and I and he can, as you say, he can shoot the puck. Uh, like, well, you know, he just doesn't shoot it very often. Well, and, they're always working on their shots before yeah. practice too, right? So right. that was right in his wheelhouse. Right, and. Uh, <laughs> And he walked down and rifled it, and uh, as I said, a great shot, great pass from both guys, and uh, uh, I give them all kudos. Uh, it ended up resulting in a 3-2 overtime victory there on Friday. Um, but so, so Nate's been able to find the back of the net quite, or quite a bit when, he, when he's throwing it in. Uh, Joe, you've also seen an uptick here in your goals lately. Uh, three straight Saturdays that you found the back of the net. Um, you know, you, you, you got goals early on in the season and kind of uh, went through a little bit of stretch. But then here as of late, you know, you've been making plays. You've been, you've been showing off the footwork as well. But you, you've been it's, been it's been impressive to watch, especially for a defenseman going down there. Yeah, well, it all started when you told me to score a goal in the gas station. <laughs> and uh, it's, I've been on a heater ever since, so I'm going to give you credit for that one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, I, honestly, I think it's just come getting my hands working and everything. I think uh, ever since the concussion, um, it was a little, it took me a little bit to get really back and to get everything working again. Um, and I think it's finally starting to come together, which uh, I don't know, it feels good. Well, he, he's an offensive guy. He's got lots of skill. And actually, we talked about this, I think, a couple of weeks ago when uh, I, I think Gus might have been on the, on here with us that he probably scored probably a couple of the most highlight, the best highlight goals of, 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 of the season. And 
it, it, it's a, a, a tribute to him about his skill, and, and uh, he knows when to jump in. And uh, the, you know, even the other night there, he jumped in, and uh, if it didn't hit the crossbar, it, it should have went in. So uh, he's doing a great job jumping in, and we're trying to be a little more offensive with our defensemen. And uh, uh, as I said, he, he jumped in at the right opportunity and uh, did a good job. No, did a good job indeed, and ends up now uh, going. But I, I will take credit though for uh, for the goals. I, I will. Um, I will take credit. Um, maybe maybe on uh, Friday I'll go upstairs and he can go behind the bench. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but so so then uh, Saturday Saturday comes along uh, you know get down there ready to go and and they uh, they just kind of jump out quickly and uh, just kind of a kind of an ambush there uh, from them and, and and they didn't really look back. The way you look at Saturday, the best part of our day was when the bus broke down twice <laughs> before we were even twenty six miles out. I think that might have been the best part of the day, and and it just went downhill from there and. Um, it was just one of those days. Again, they jumped out early, and uh, uh, from my standpoint, and I'm not trying to make excuses. If anything could go wrong, it went wrong. And uh, uh, as I said, we—I I don't think anybody played well. I don't think anybody played really bad. It was just one of those nights when every time they got the puck, they shot. It was—it was, it was they made a good play. Uh, it was in our net, and. Uh, we actually rebounded in the second period, which I really liked. We changed goalies. We rebounded. There was, I think we went like seven minutes without a goal or, uh, both sides, and I thought, oh, we were settling in pretty good. And uh, the, 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 the second I, I mentioned about Joe going down, and he made a great play, uh, took a shot, hit the crossbar, and, and, and if that went in at that time, I think we would have been okay. It went down. It went off the crossbar. They went down on a two-on-one and scored. And, and, and it just kind of took the wind out of our sails a little bit at that time. So, uh, and then we just couldn't get our footing going again after that. So, yeah, it was a. Uh, it was one of those games where I told the guys at the end of the day, we, you know, we rolled it up and threw it in the garbage. And uh, uh, everybody goes through those days. And uh, it was, trust me, that was a day. And uh, we remembered a couple things. And, and in a couple weeks, uh, we have a long memory. And uh, uh, as I said, in a couple of weeks after, we'll, we'll, th we'll be thinking about it, and uh, paybacks are always a lot of fun. Well, it was just one of those nights that every bounce that could go their way ended up going their way, and that's uh, that's how it ended up looking on the score and you got to give there. them credit. They, they, they came out storming. They had their whole team. We were still short. And again, that's not an excuse, but uh, they, they're, they're a good team, and, and uh, as I said, I just uh, – when they jumped on us there, as I said, it was just uh, – uh, the one goal early in the, I think it was in the third period there, uh, Karpinski tried to uh, put his hand on it and, and the guy poked it. And, I, and I, I, when that one went in, I just said, you know, th this is one of those nights where <laughs> there's nothing's going right for us. Because uh, he was right there and, his, and even he said after, he said, yeah, when that went in, it was just, what do you do? And so uh, you, you, you throw those games out. It happens every once in a while. You don't like to see it, uh, but it does happen and uh, uh, we move forward. I don't know, maybe, you know, next time they come to this place, uh, we do our awards and, and have them sit on the bench for 15 minutes. <laughs> no, but uh, so you end up uh, taking a few points on the weekend, but now uh, you get set for uh, the Commissioner's Cup playoff starting this Friday at 7.05 p.m., 7.35 back at home on Saturday, and then 6 p.m. on Sunday for the If Necessary Game 3. But still, a uh, lot to get to here in the back half of our program here this evening. Here live at Dave & Buster's. We'll take a uh, look at the uh, port here on Prowlers coming up a little bit. Also have questions coming from the crowd here as well. And also just kind of take a look at what the season as a whole as well. But still more to get to here on the Coach Harry Show here live from Dave & Buster's on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. Mabel Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill, relax by our pool in Cabana, and gear up at the Pro Shop while sharpening your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18 hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. You can find out more at MapleChaseCC.com. That's MapleChaseCC.com. Get ready, Winston-Salem. Jennifer Sapp, your trusted realtor and broker since 1997, puts the real in realtor, and she's proud to be a sponsor of yours. 
Carolina Thunderbirds. As a top producer and your go-to realtor for all your real estate needs, Jennifer Sapp is ready to help you score your dream home goal. Call Jennifer at 336-782-3148 or visit her at jennifersapp.allenton.com. I want Huey to live a long, happy life. I give him supplements to take care of his joints. He's on preventatives to keep the fleas and ticks away. It's the same with my Subaru Outback. He takes care of us every day and when we go on adventures. We get our Outback serviced by the experts at Flow Subaru of Winston-Salem. I love my Subaru and I know it will live a long and happy life if I treat it right, just like Huey. When it comes to performance, speed matters, just like on the ice. Introducing Same Day Dental Crowns right here at Twin Oaks Dentistry. With cutting edge technology, we craft crowns on site, eliminating the need for temporary. As proud sponsors of the Carolina Thunderbirds, we understand the need for top notch performance. We're more than just dental care, we're your partners in achieving your best smile. Twin Oaks Dentistry, where technology. Back here live at Dave & Buster's in the second half of our program here this evening. It's the Coach Harry Show here on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. Brent O'Reilly, head coach Steve Harrison and Joe Kennedy here. And uh, we have some, uh, we've reached part of the program before we get in the port here on uh, this weekend. We got uh, questions from the, uh, from the audience here tonight. And uh, we'll start with uh, the first one at the top here. Um, after uh, Thursday night's game, Jacob Schnapp was given a one-game suspension um, from the FPHL, uh, and the question here is why did we not uh, appeal? Um, Coach, uh, do you have any, any, any words on this? Well, th that's one of those things in the society nowadays, and, and I didn't hear what he said, and, 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 and we, as a group, as a team, as representing us, representing ourselves, you've got to be responsible uh, for whatever you say, and, and if it's only a little bit or big or whatever, you've got to be responsible for what you say. And um, again, I'm not sure what he said, and, and uh, it, 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 either the referee heard it wrong or, 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 or heard it right, I'm not really sure, but uh, uh, it was said enough that he, he gave him a penalty. And, and so we have to take responsibility. And, and uh, again, with society nowadays, uh, you, whatever comes out of your mouth, you've got to be responsible for that. And uh, un unfortunately, as I said, uh, you know, he, we, we lost a game for, or lost him for a game. And uh, I hope, hopefully we've learned a lesson. And, and, and words, as I said, if you, sometimes just don't say anything. But uh, if you say something, then you've got to be responsible for it. And uh, he owned up to it, and uh, he, he sat out for a night. And he was able to return there on Saturday uh, for the regular season finale. Um, but now taking a look at some of the uh, more questions from the crowd. And we got some fun ones. There's questions for all three of us uh -oh. um, as well. Uh, Joe, we'll start with you. Um, if you were on a deserted island, which two teammates would you like to have with you? All right, just for uh, to make it, I'll definitely take one of the Keelys. Um, only one though, because like if you have two of them, they might gang up on me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, the Keelys definitely Good know point. their way around the uh, the wilderness, I think. So yeah. I'll take one of them, and then um, I think I'd take John for his leadership, and also he, I think he's just really funny to be around. So I think that that'd be keep the mood yeah, light. Yeah, I would keep yeah. the mood light. Yeah, <laughs> those are good choices. That's a good choice. So, so one of the Keelys and then Boots. Okay, uh, Harry, throwing this to you now. Which player do you think would survive longest in the woods? Probably the Keel, one of the Keelys. Yeah. I think you know that that Western type guy. Uh, um, I, I think they would for sure. Uh, Baker thinks he, he's, he's an outdoorsman, but I don't know if it's uh, – uh, he's more of the holiday in outdoorsman. Uh, that's, uh, that's him. That's, I think that's Bakes a little bit more, where I think the Keelys are uh, – if, if you're outdoors, I, I think they're the, one of them probably for sure. One of them, okay. All right, Keelys, a good, uh, a good trend here. Um, Coach, uh, this was asked about Joe. 
What flavor of ice cream does Joe remind you of? Well, I, if I was talking to my wife, I would say I don't like ice cream, but I do. <laughs> but uh, probably something with a lot of flavor, because I, I think he brings a lot of flavor to our team. And, and uh, uh, I'm not sure what kind, but just, just something with a lot of flavor, not vanilla. And uh, uh, he, he brings a little bit of leadership. He brings a little bit of uh, offensive game. He's a, a good, very good defensively. So I, I just think something with a lot of flavor, and, and that's what he brings. Joe, who's your favorite team to play against? Favorite team to play against? Um, I think I honestly I do like playing Columbus just because it's always a good game. Not necessarily the Saturday game, but usually it's a really good game. <laughs> and, you know, you can tell the players when, when you've asked that question, I, I think almost 100% of the time it's always been Columbus and because and you, you want to play a good team. And, and it, it, it's, it's nice. I, I, don't get me wrong, nobody likes to lose, but if you lose 3-2, but, like, to win 8-1, is, is not a, is some nights it's not always fun. It's nice to win those games every once in a while, but yeah. for the most part, you want that com competitiveness, and, and that's what we have on our team. Now, so Columbus, and now, uh, who have you enjoyed fighting the most this year? <laughs> um, enjoyed fighting the most? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, that's, what, that's what the I paper mean, said. I, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I think the, the guy won punched on Binghamton just because it was quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, now, a question for me: What's your favorite story from this season? I, I don't think I can. I'm, I'm not going to go with a story necessarily. I'll go favorite game though. Um, favorite game was probably New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve is my birthday, so uh, uh, you know the 8:35 puck drop. It was late, um, but uh, coming from behind or uh, and with uh, Bake scoring there with about four and a half minutes, so that was a pretty that was a pretty good birthday present yeah. uh, to myself. So I really enjoyed that one. So I'll, I'll go with that one for that. Now this one's for the three of us. Um, we can just go down the line here. Uh, Joe, what makes Carolina so special? I think just the community, honestly. We uh, just we're, we have all the support. Uh, it's a fun place to play. The guys are great. The fans are great. The ownership's great. Uh, just everything about it's great. I, I, I you know, just basically what he just said. Uh, I don't know if there's a neg it's it's a it's a pretty city. I mean, the, the, the weather's usually nice. Not every day it messes up our golf game every once in a while, but uh, usually it's really nice. But uh, but uh, just what he said. It, it's the people here who have bought into our team, and their outpouring of uh, how they care. Uh, it's probably. Uh, I've been in a lot of cities, and, and this is probably the tops of, of and I'm not just saying that because I'm here. I played in Salt Lake, and, and it was fantastic there, but I think this just takes it one step. And with the crowds that we have here, I, I think guys just enjoy coming here, and so it, it, it's kind of a combination, but it's a support, I think, that we have from, from everybody that uh, uh, when you get that, it, it's pretty special. I would, I would have to say for myself, I think uh, for me being in my role, uh, this is the first time I've broadcasted that there's actually been people listening that really care like like people care about the broadcast people care about you know care about the team very much and so that makes me want to elevate what I do and that makes me really I'm not just doing it for myself like I have throughout most of my career but seeing the outpouring of support from the fans for him for the players and, and, and seeing everyone just have that buy-in mentality for everything I think that's what makes Carolina so special to me yeah so yeah um you talk to yourself enough. You like to talk to other people, eh, when you're doing your podcast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, Harry, is Carolina home to you yet? Well, I, 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 your home is where your heart is. And, and obviously, you know, I, I, my wife and, everyone, and I, my home base is basically Texas. But I... I it is. It is right now. It is my when I'm here, and it is. And uh, if if I whenever I, this is a kind of I always look at places where I've been and places I remember and, and this is going to be right up there uh, as I said I played in Salt Lake for six years and, 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 and had a lot of uh, great experiences there but this is right up there and, 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 and maybe even surpass it just just the way I've been treated here and uh, uh, so to say as I said I always look at where, wherever you are at the time this is where you're and my heart's here right now and uh, uh, I want the best for this.
No, it should be it should be fun coming up. There's one more question uh, for me. What has this season felt like for you compared to calling other sports? I just kind of touched on it, but uh, uh, calling hockey is it, it, it's some of the most fun I've had uh, in my in my career. I, the, the energy that comes from everything, and big part of that is all of you guys packing the uh, fairgrounds or, or the annex every uh, every weekend because that that does play a factor, just like it does on the ice for the guys. Plays a factor for me as well. Gets me more into it. Um, but uh, but the energy and the pa- and the and the passion that comes from it it's, uh, makes it a lot more enjoyable. So uh, so yeah. So those are all the questions that we got uh, from the crowd here tonight. Uh, thank you guys for for all the questions yeah. as always. Um, great questions. Great questions tonight. Uh, but we still got a lot to get to here on the Coach Harry Show. Three game series coming up here. Best two or three against the Port here on Prowlers. Got the playoffs coming up here this weekend. Uh, also take a look uh, at the season as a whole as well as we uh, continue on the Coach Harry show here live after this from Dave and Busters on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. The Flow Garage app helps you keep up with your vehicles from anywhere. Flow customers can request service appointments, receive text and video updates, view sales and service history, receive recall notifications, and even get purchase offers via Flow Offer to Purchase. Download the app today. Hey Thunderbirds, are you looking for a metal building? Here at Bulldog Steel Structures, we got you covered with multiple garages, barns, and styles you need. Contact us today to get your free quote at 888-551-2156. Or visit our website, www.bulldogsteelstructures.com, and mention the Thunderbirds, and we'll give you a flying deal. God bless you. Go Go Thunderbirds! Here at Comtech, we think it shouldn't cost a fortune to have peace of mind. That's why we bring you the latest in smart home protection and home monitoring at prices you can afford. Already paying for home monitoring? We can be it. Give us a call today or visit us at ctpower.com. That's ctpower.com. Comtech, your one stop for security, fire, cameras, and more. For over 85 years, Mustin and Crutchfield has been more than just a local market. We've been a proud part of North Carolina's heritage. When our founders started in 1938, they sourced meats from local farmers and groceries from small companies. Finding a way to stay competitive in this market has been a challenge through the years. Luckily, there are a lot of entrepreneurs, and now we have close to 50 local vendors that we feature. We're proud to partner with the Carolina Thunderbirds as a local sponsor, celebrating community values both on and off the ice. Mustin and Crutchfield, your hometown local grocer. Back here at Dave and Buster's on the Coach Harry Show. Got about 14 minutes left in our program here this evening. Brendan Riley, the head coach, Steve Harrison, and Joe Kennedy here on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. Just took the uh, questions from the uh, audience here tonight. Uh, but now uh, we take a look at this coming weekend in the port here on Prowlers. Uh, opening up the uh, Commissioner's Cup playoffs on Friday up in port here on Saturday. Back at home, Sunday at home if necessary. But uh, a port you're on team that you guys have not seen since all the way back in the beginning of January uh, did go were able to sweep the season series but um, compared to some other teams they always seem to stick around a hard a team that fights hard and, and it makes you guys work they're they're a type of team that uh, uh, I guess the boys call them the beer league team right for some reason but they're, they're just they, they they do things that uh, a little uncharacteristic. They flip the puck a lot. They do things that try to keep you out, but they battle, and, and they're agitators. And a couple games that we've played them, we, we've kind of bought into uh, 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 getting into that type of style, and that's not really where where we flourish. And and so the, the word discipline this weekend is, is going to have to be at the forefront, uh, uh, not just in our emotions, but in, in, in our systems. And uh, I like the matchup. I, I, I think it's going to be a hard-fought series. And, and uh, uh, we're going to have to go up there and, and uh, that first night, uh, set the tempo early, uh, as I said. But overall, in general, with, with, with right now, as I said, uh, we've got a couple guys coming back. And uh, uh, when you line up with our players against them right now, as I said, I, 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 I feel good about it. 
it, it's going to be a hard-fought battle, and, 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 and uh, as I said, in any, in any series that's a short series, it, it's critical that, that, uh, that, that, that you're prepared, and, and not just for the one game, but for the three games. And if you're prepared, like I think we're getting ready here, you know, we had a good practice today, tomorrow will be another practice, and, uh, you know, we'll have a little skate on Friday. And, and, uh, uh, but, but if you're prepared for those three games, uh, as I said, the good things are going to happen. But uh, uh, we, we can't take the, foot, the pedal off or the foot off the, the, the gas because uh, I said they're, they're, they'll be coming and uh, uh, we have to be ready. Joe, how do you look at the matchup going into this weekend? Um, I, feel, I feel good about it. Um, the boys looked really good in practice today. I thought everybody was working really hard. Everyone's extra focused, getting their passes on and everything. And I think that we need to focus on our team first what we're doing, how we're approaching the game, um, and just knowing that this is going to be a battle from start to finish. Um, and if we have that mindset, then I, I'm not worried about us. Now, I was, uh, I was texting with their broadcaster yesterday, and he said, uh, obviously played him last year, um, and he said he was excited to get back down here for a playoff game at the Annex at the Fairgrounds Arena. Joe, you're the only one here that has been involved in a playoff game uh, here in Winston-Salem. Uh, place is rocking during the regular season. How, what, what happens in the playoffs to top that? It's, a, it's just that extra emotion, I guess, that comes with playoffs. Um, it, it's electric. That's <laughs> I'm real excited about it. Um, well, if you, even the fans, you know, you, if you're cheering for that team, you know, you, you get excited and, and, and the emotion is even more than, you know, during the regular season. And I, I think they get excited during the season, which they do. But when you're when you're in a playoff series, it's just extra emotion. I, I know my even myself from, you know, as the games go on, you, you get a little more excited and uh um, but I remember about eight years ago, uh, the, the, my owner asked me, it was the final game, and he says, uh, are you nervous? And I go, if you're not nervous or you're not excited about the game, then you shouldn't be here either watching it or playing or involved in it. So, uh, th th as you said, the, the playoffs just take it another step level. Having to go on the road for game one to give you guys a little bit of an edge, do you, do you almost get up a little bit more trying to go into someone else's barn? Well, I like the road. Uh, the, these guys, they, they, they play, I, I, we, I feel very comfortable going on the road. It's not like uh, uh, I love home, but I, 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 I'm very, very comfortable going on the road. Uh, we, we've had a pretty good run at the, uh, on the road, and uh, uh, our style really doesn't change a whole lot from uh, wherever when we're going. So uh, I, I believe that these guys uh, feel confident to go on the road. Joe, going on the road. Should be good. I think the boys are going to be ready, and plus we got the, the extra day of sleep, which will be nice, and a morning skate this time. Uh, so I, I think we're going to be just fine. Well, it yeah. should be, it should be it should be fun, and so uh, Port Huron, uh, you get them here in round one, uh, and before we uh, get off the air tonight, should touch on some end of season awards. Joe, first off, congratulations being named a Continental Division first team All Star last week uh, for defense. <laughs> Um, alongside Dawson and uh, Peter as well. You had Roman, who was named a uh, rookie all-star in the yeah. Continental Division. And then uh, Mario last night named goaltender of the year. And then uh, right before we came on the air tonight, uh, Gus was named uh, FPHL forward of the year. So uh, uh, big congratulations to all of them. Coach, uh, you know, you see guys bringing uh, hardware like this. Uh, you know, it, it, must make, it must make you feel good that, you know, things are going in the right direction. Well, you, you know, it's nice that you get recognized. And, and these guys, they all deserved it, and, and uh, rightfully so. Uh, uh, everyone worked hard. Everybody, as I said, deserves it. So um, it's nice sometimes to get, uh, uh, you know, that pat in the back. And uh, as I said, uh, the, the guys who won the award, and, and uh, they deserve it. And so I, I'm happy for them. Joe, what was your reaction when you uh, found out? Honestly, it was just I, I saw it online, and I was pretty – pleasantly surprised I guess I mean it was uh, it, it feels good to be recognized um, obviously the focus is uh, you know getting the the big trophy not really the individual stuff I mean it's a nice pat on the back but um, obviously after last year this year that's the main focus and that's <laughs> what I want a lot more you know you know the, the, like the coaches pick it and you can't pick for your own team obviously uh, um, uh, but it's a credit to like a defenseman who who Obviously, he's doing something that 
other coaches are watching. And, and, and uh, uh, when someone asks me, well, who are you going to pick? Well, you, usually you remember the good players on the other team. And it's not always the guy who scores the goals. It's, uh, it's the guys who, 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 who are great defenders and, and, and chip in offensively like he does. And so the, you remember those guys. And, uh, uh, you know, when a coach picks somebody like that, that that's, a, that's a credit to our guys uh, that uh, uh, they've earned it. I've earned it indeed, and 56 long games are in the book now. Playoffs right around the corner, but um, but the season started all the way back at the end of October in Danbury, and it ends this past Saturday uh, in Columbus. Um, Joe, for you, what what has this season shown you? What has that season taught you? Or do you have a favorite memory here from this year? Gosh, that's a loaded question yeah, there. I'm just trying to try get a lot of good in. moments here. Um, gosh, I, Honestly, it's just all been a lot of fun. Like, um, even the, the bus breakdowns and stuff like that where you just spend an extra time on the road. Like, you know, you look in the moment, you're, you know, just like, ugh. But, like, honestly, just spending time with the guys. Um, you know, you, you never know if it's going to be the same team again, and usually it isn't, especially in a league like this. So uh, just being in, the, in those moments, I think I'm going to look back on and miss the most for sure. Well, I told the guys I was a little upset. I thought we'd go 56 and 0, but uh, <laughs> but uh, but uh, 40, 12, and 4 is pretty good too. So no, I'm just kidding. But it it uh, I think for me personally, you know, you're on the bus and you can hear these guys talking and and in the dressing room the way they talk to each other, uh, the, the the way I think they feel for each other is. is, is makes me feel really good that and, and someone asked me uh, a guy from uh, from Dallas called me and, and he said well what do you like about your team and and uh, I got a great bunch of guys and 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 they they care they work hard I don't have any issues but uh, and that that's the thing that I'll remember most about this team is, is 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 the effort that they put in and and the people that are in the room and and, and that's what uh, that's what sports is about it's about the people and uh uh, I, I really enjoyed it. And it all culminates over the next three, four weeks with the playoffs coming up here. And we have to run into our final timeout here on the Coach Harry Show this evening. We'll come back and wrap things up here from Dave and Buster's after this on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. Once upon a time, not so far away, two heroes found the secret to a perfect game day. They had heard of a baker, one with big heart. They were thrilled he had the answer. Ava's Cupcakes is where he's set to start. From cakes to cookies, cupcakes, and more, we've got flavors that'll score and score. So the Thunderbirds cheered, ready to tell all. Ava's Cupcakes is the sweetest. Bakery to call. Get ready, Winston Salem. Jennifer Sapp, your trusted realtor and broker since 1997, puts the real in realtor. And she's proud to be a sponsor of your Carolina Thunderbirds. As a top producer and your go-to realtor for all your real estate needs, Jennifer Sapp is ready to help you score your dream home goal. Call Jennifer at 336-782-3148 or visit her at jennifersapp.allenton.com. Hey there, Triad Thunderbirds fans. Introducing Tee It Up Indoors, your ultimate golfing destination in Greensboro. With our cutting-edge golf simulators, you can tee off on world-class courses, no matter the weather. We're not just a golf facility. We're your partner in having a fantastic time. From golf lessons to corporate events, we've got it all covered. Plus, we even host birthday parties. Tee It Up Indoors, where golf meets excitement. Contact us today and swing into action. When it comes to performance, speed matters, just like on the ice. Introducing Same Day Dental Crowns right here at Twin Oaks Dentistry. With cutting edge technology, we craft crowns on site, eliminating the need for temporary. As proud sponsors of the Carolina Thunderbirds, we understand the need for top notch performance. We're more than just dental care. We're your partners in achieving your best smile. Twin Oaks Dentistry, we're 
Back here on the Coach Harry Show, getting ready to wrap things up on another Tuesday night at Dave and Buster's. Brent Riley, the head coach, Steve Harrison and Joe Kennedy uh, here on your Tuesday evening. Got about a minute and a half, two minutes left in our program this evening. Guys, uh, first off, thank you uh, for coming. Coach, thank, thank you. you as always. Joe, thanks for uh, coming on for the second time here this thanks season. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Um, but now uh, playoffs this weekend. Uh, any closing thoughts before we have to get out of here? Well, I, I'm, I'm excited about it. I, I know the guys are, and uh, it's uh, uh, th- 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 this is the best time of year right now, playoffs. Uh, when, when it starts to get really warm out, you know, and, and, and there's just something about this feeling. And uh, uh, when, when, when everything's on the line, you know, every game is so important. And, and as I said, just the intensity, everything is, is, is a, it takes a step north. And uh, uh, as I said, I, I, I can't wait till Friday. And... Uh, uh, every day, I, 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 from Monday to Tuesday, and I know Wednesday will even be a little more exciting. And so by Friday, it should be a, a lot of fun, and uh, uh, I, I'm looking forward to it. Joe, I'm just excited to be in playoffs now. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> it just it can hardly wait. Well, Friday can't Friday come and Saturday, s- baby. Can't come soon enough. It yeah. Can't. Well, can't. you know, we got we got uh, you know practice tomorrow, and then and then we're we leave early Thursday. So I. I I, I think we've set it up to where we're, we're, we'll be successful, and and uh, now we just have to go out and execute it, and uh, uh, the guys are the guys will be ready. Seven oh five on Friday in Port here on Game One, Game Two back at home on seven th- at seven thirty five, and the if necessary Game Three coming up on Sunday. Tickets for Saturday and Sunday are still available on Ticketmaster.com and at the Fairgrounds Box Office Arena. So if you haven't gotten it there, haven't gotten your tickets yet, make sure to go and get them. That'll do it for us here at the Coach Harry Show. You're live on a Tuesday night at Dave and Buster's. Thank you for everyone coming out here tonight uh, here to D- Dave and Buster's. <laughs> and guys, thank you once again thank for coming you. on. But that'll do it for us here on the Coach Harry Show.